In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can control your computer with just your voice using two cool tools, Super Whisper and Open Interpreter. So let's dive right into the video. So this is Open Interpreter. You can visit their website by visiting openinterpreter.com. Open Interpreter allows LLMs to run code on your computer so they can complete tasks. So I'm going to help you guys get this set up today. All you have to do is come over here and click on GitHub. And we'll scroll down. And then you're just going to run this command. You need to have Python installed. So you're going to go over to your terminal. You're going to paste that command in. And I already have it installed, but you're just going to run it and you'll see everything install. And then what you're going to do is you're going to run interpreter. And then you see a startup. And then you can provide the OpenAI API key. Or you can use LM Studio and you can use the server on there if you want to run a local model with it. So to run the model locally, you're just going to scroll down and you'll be able to see right here. And you can just put dash dash local and you'll be able to run whatever model you're currently running in LM Studio. I also wanted to make a note that you need to make sure the context window is set to 3000 and the max tokens is set to 1000. And you can also use Open Interpreter inside of Python as well. And you can call it just like this. So we're gonna use it in the terminal and we're gonna have it run some tasks for us. If you go into the docs and then you go to usage and then under terminal, you can see vision. If you're using a vision model, you'll be able to use this right here, even if you're using LM Studio. And this is what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna to be using vision. And we're also gonna be testing out without vision as well to do the same task and see if it does it better with or without it. They also have OS mode, which allows Open Interpreter to control the operating system. And it's also gonna be recording the screen and using the vision model from GPT-4. Let's run Interpreter OS. Okay, now we can talk to it and ask it to do what we want it to do. So the first thing we're going to ask it to is to play hip hop music for us. Okay, so we're going to ask it to play hip hop music using Chrome. Okay, nice doing the spotlight search. Okay. Let me pull the terminal back up so that way you can see it. Oh, I clicked on the wrong area. Probably because I it probably screenshotted it when the terminal was underneath. Okay, so I recognize that we're on GitHub. Okay, so it's finding an alternative approach. Okay, so it's getting information. Let's see if we can get it now. Nope, not yet. There it goes. Wow. Okay. 
Okay, wow. Wow. All right. Nice. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Took it a minute. Took it a minute. Like, I could have did it way faster than that, but but that was pretty cool, though. So, let's see if it'll play some music now. I'll bring back the terminal so we can see what it's doing. Oh, okay, so it says the task is done. All right. So now I can choose a video to play. Would you like me to execute playing? So it's gonna execute playing a little dark song. I think it needed to double click it because I was on the terminal. So I'm gonna let it just do its thing for a minute and we'll see what happens. Oh, okay. So it thought it clicked on it, but it didn't. So I'm gonna tell it to play the little dirt song. I'm just gonna leave this on here so that way we can see if it works. So that way there's nothing interfering with it. Perfect. Okay, that worked perfectly. Let's go back over and see what it says. All right. Okay, now you're just gonna run interpreter without the dash dash ls. So to bypass the approval, you're gonna run interpreter dash y, or else you're gonna have to approve everything that it runs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna restart that and we're gonna add that argument at the end. Now we'll run play hip hop music on Chrome and we'll see how it goes. Oh, so as you can see, it's already running completely different. It wants to install Selenium, then open Chrome that way. So it's going a completely different route, but we'll see what happens. Okay, let's see if it, it continues running what it's supposed to do. Yeah, I most definitely prefer running it with the OS way better than what it's doing right now. But we'll let it do its thing and we'll see what happens.
Oh, okay. All right, well. Let's see if it can find a different approach. Oh, I meant like without selenium. Okay, let's see if we can try this now. Okay, so now we're gonna test the speech mode. And what you need to do is download Super Whisper. And this is gonna allow you to do everything hands-free. So this only works if you have a Mac. So you're just gonna click on download. And then after you have it downloaded, I'm gonna show you what to do next. You just need to open the app after you download it. And then you'll click on this and you'll be able to click on the settings and it'll take you to this page. And once you're in here, you can turn on the real time if you want to. These are experiments. And then you'll have the AI models, which you'll have downloaded the pro one when you installed the software. Um, and then they have the other ones as well you can download if you'd like. So we're gonna go into the configuration and we're gonna change the simulate key presses. This is turned off by default. You need to turn this on. And then the restore clipboard after paste. You need to turn this on as well, because that's gonna be turned off. And these are the only things we need to edit in the settings. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use Super Whisper and we're gonna use OS. I'm going to ask to change the appearance from the default setting to light mode. So all you have to do is click on that and it'll start recording. Change my appearance to light mode, please. recorded the first part of what I said and then it said change my appearance to light mode so we'll just remove that part but you guys get the point of it if you're not talking in a video it'll work for you pretty well so that way you can have a hands-free experience using it you just have to make sure your cursor is over the terminal so that way it can click on it properly Okay, so we didn't change it to light mode, so we're going to use Super Whisper again. We're going to ask it to do it. Change my appearance to light mode. Okay, there we go, it worked. Nice. Change my appearance back to dark mode, please. Nice. So this is just a few examples of what you guys can do with it. Play around with it. Let me know in the comments what you guys end up doing, what it does for you, and how well it works. All right, y'all. I appreciate you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, just drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I started my Discord community, so if you guys want to join, all the information is below in the description. So I hope to see you guys in there.